The girls that get it, get it. The girls who don't, don't. Get the buffalo chicken dip. Vlogmas day. I don't know what, but what's up? We here. Um, so as y'all can see, I just got back from Trader Joe's. Um, yeah, I just got back from Trader Joe's. We could do a little haul. Um, if that's what y'all want. Um, I didn't get a ton of stuff because actually, listen, this is why my mom is God sent. Okay, she's like, I'm going to the grocery store today. Like, send me a grocery list of what you need. Say no more, because if you know anything about being an adult, paying for groceries is not fun. So when you get asked what you need in your household, I'm gonna take you up on that. So she was going to like food line and stuff. So I was like, okay, you handling that? I'll just go get the stuff that I need from Trader Joe's. So I just picked up a couple of things from Trader Joe's. Nothing, not too crazy. I got like three bags. Um, most of the stuff is repeat purchases of, you know, what we always get. So, starting off, I got the brioche buns. Yes, I splurged a little bit and got the brioche buns. I really just love the brioche bread, which I got as well. Um, if you know, you know, this is the best bread for French toast. Don't sleep on it. So yeah, I got the brioche bread, like the sliced bread, and then I got the buns as well. I say splurge because you only get four buns in here, and I think it's like four dollars, three four dollars for just yes, the brioche buns four pack is three ninety nine. So that's that's a lot for buns for me. But anyway, um, then I just picked up some more. You know what? I didn't even read this. This is garlic flavored olive oil. Um, that's not what I wanted, but okay. We don't, I guess we'll try it out and see. Dang, I didn't even pay attention to the bottle. I literally just grabbed it. Um, and then I picked up my favorite dressing, which is the Romano, uh, yeah, Romano Caesar dressing. If you know, you know, like I said, this is the best Caesar dressing. And then I picked up a new 21 seasoning salute. Again, if you know, you know. Love this seasoning. And then I picked up my kid some dog treats. Um, these are the um, peanut butter and banana ones. I've given him these treats since he's been alive. <laughs> Those are really the only like dog treats that I buy for him. Um, uh, all right, let's see what's in the next bag. I got the just grilled chicken strips and let me say when inflation and grocery prices are starting to hit Trader Joe's you know it's real um, because most of y'all know Trader Joe's is pretty affordable to me it seems um, very affordable these chicken strips used to be $5.99 and I know because I've been buying these since like 2016 when I was living in New York um, because I shopped at Trader Joe's all the time in New York because it was literally the cheapest grocery store like in Manhattan. And these chicken strips is almost $7 now. Let me see. 
yes they are 650 now so they definitely went up about 50 cents but i was like oh when i saw it i was like okay inflation prices is increasing at the traders at joe's okay um and then i picked up of course the vegetable fried rice it's a classic, it's a staple, you gotta have it. Um, something, I don't think I've ever bought these from Trader Joe's, but these are the um, roasted seasoned Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. I think I told y'all this, maybe not, I don't know, but Brussels sprouts are like my new favorite. I love Brussels sprouts, love them. So I figured I would try those out. I picked up some waters. I just feel like Trader Joe's water is just like top tier. Love it. It's alkaline. Get you some alkaline water in your system. And then I picked up the chicken spring rolls. These are a favorite in my house. Listen, every time I go to Trader Joe's, Shauna's always like, you gonna get them spring rolls? <laughs> like, he's not even here. And he, when I told him I was going to Trader Joe's, he's like, all right, now I want the chicken spring rolls, so. Got the chicken spring rolls. Another classic in my household, the turkey burgers. You cannot go wrong with these. I love these turkey burgers. The guy um, that was checking me out, he was like, those turkey burgers are amazing. I was like, yeah, they really are. You cannot go wrong with them. Um, another classic in my household, these hash browns. Y'all, I cannot stress these enough. Pop them in your air fryer on 400 for 10 minutes. Perfect. Love, love, love those. And then I got a, I love their little like easy dinners. Pop it in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes and you good. This is the fiery chicken curry. I love this. I have picked this up and showed you guys this before. And the last bag, <laughs> some more classics. Buffalo chicken dip. If you don't get it by now, the girls that get it, get it. The girls who don't, don't. Get the buffalo chicken dip because it's amazing, okay? And then I picked up the another classic must-have pickup, the mandarin orange chicken. Again, if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. Pair it with the vegetable fried rice. And then you can have a little spring roll on the side. Girl, you got a whole Chinese restaurant in your kitchen, okay? <laughs> and then I picked up just some romaine lettuce for all my salads. And then I picked up this very green 100% juice smoothie. Um, I saw Brianna Simone here on YouTube. Um, she posted this on her Instagram. And when she posted, I was like, let me try this out. Cause she said it was really, really good. So I picked up one of these to try out. Um, it just has, what's in here? It's like, it's a green, juice like a green smoothie um oh banana mango and kiwi purees with apple pineapple green foods and other ingredient ingredients um so it's just like a green juice we'll try it out and see how it is yeah that is the grocery haul for today i need to figure out what i'm gonna eat tonight because your girl is starving okay starving i'm always starving i'm always talking about how hungry i am on here but no i really am hungry um i don't know if i want to just make a quick little salad or if i want to do a turkey burger i don't know probably do a turkey burger because if i don't if i don't eat them tonight not eat all of them but bread you know bread goes by uh goes bad fast so i'm gonna go ahead and just eat a turkey burger tonight um with some fries that's gonna be my dinner it is what it is so that's it for the haul I'm trying to think what else i have to do tonight i need to finish my laundry <laughs> and i need to um edit tomorrow's video and then it's Sunday, y'all know what that means. Um, so actually, a couple of y'all are enjoying my uh, Sunday night commentaries on the shows. So um, I did get a uh, question asking if I watch Harlem. So funny thing, I started it on Friday night 
and I literally fell asleep. I don't know why I started at like 11, 12 o'clock that night, knowing I was gonna fall asleep. But I started it um, Friday night and I fell asleep within like the first 15 minutes of the episode. So I'm gonna watch it probably like while I'm working and stuff tomorrow during the day so I can um, see if I like it. I've heard really good things about the show. Um, if you don't know, it's called Harlem and it's on Amazon Prime. So I'm going to start that and see how I like it and I'll report back and let y'all know. Okay. But that's going to wrap it up for now. I will check back in with you guys in a bit. So just finished watching um, Insecure. Y'all, we two two episodes left. Um, this episode was pretty good. My hair looks crazy. Um, this episode was pretty good. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, Issa is not leaving Lawrence alone. Like something, something is something is given. Okay, I don't know what it's gonna be, but I don't know, but. Cause we saw her, you know, kind of, I don't know, not my hair getting tangled. <laughs> we saw her kind of like taking a look into her life in the future. Who pops up? Lauren. Hold on, let me go get my bobby pins. Okay, so we see Lawrence pop up randomly in her like daydream of her future. I don't know I don't know so we we shall see like I said we got two episodes left looks like next week um they're gonna be at Tiffany's like I guess going away party so we'll see um but can we talk about Torian the wings and the wine yes that is that is how you that is how you show up for your girl whoever you talking to if she says she's having a rough day a bad day whatever you show up it's the little things it is the little things that count you show up in a way like that baby you don't want her you want her because it shows you're thinking about her it shows without her having to ask you to like do anything like you show up for her and just let her know like hey i'm here to make you feel better even if i can't physically be there you don't want me to be physically there to you know talk about it i'm gonna still show you ways to let you know i care about you i'm thinking about you you had a rough day i got you boo so <laughs> let me find out i'm team torian um so yeah overall i felt like this was a pretty good episode um so yeah overall i felt like this was a pretty good episode can we just talk about what's his name kofi 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 he plays um what's his name crenshaw whatever y'all that is one fine man i and watch seeing him always reminds me like dang i gotta catch up on queen sugar because that is my show but that is one fine gentleman he's so beautiful but we winding down y'all i can't believe insecure is actually ending though like i've been watching insecure since I think Insecure came out when I was living in New York. Like, I don't know. Insecure just reminds me of like coming into my adulthood, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's coming to an end. But that's all I watched tonight. I didn't watch Power yet, y'all. I just. I don't know, I've been editing, so I didn't get to watch Power, so I'll watch that tomorrow. But I'm just wrapping my hair, and I'm about to wash my face. So I can go to bed. 
People always ask me how do I get my hair to, or you know, how do I sleep with my hair? How do I wrap my hair? I just wrap it like normal. I just have to use um, the long bobby pins. Let me see. I need to get some more because I didn't lost them all. But I just use the I just use the long bobby pins to kind of like pin it up in two spots. I pin it one up here and then one back there. Um, but yeah, I just use the longer bobby pins to help keep my hair in place. And then I put my scarf on. Ugh, I need to push it back because I need to wash my face still. But I just put my scarf on and then I put my bonnet on. And that's just, that's how we sleep at night. Um, I like to double up. I used to just sleep with my scarf, but child, my scarf be slipping and sliding off my head. So <laughs> the bonnet helps, gives it a little extra layer of protection. <sighs> but all right, you guys, like I said, we are ready for bed now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know we didn't really do much, but that's just life, baby. <laughs> Every day is not a movie, but I'm about to call it a night. Put these flowers, about to call it a night, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.